Right, here we are, we're out once again, and we're at uh, Astrother, uh, the Red Pier, because it's got a red lighthouse on it, which makes sense to everybody. So, let's see, about half hour till low tide, it might be a six mile an hour wind, but this is not the six mile an hour wind, it's battered this way, so, yeah, we'll see if it calms down with the tide coming in. And it's meant to be pretty dry, but uh, the clouds up there are pretty black. But the sun is out over there. So there we go. Hey, we're looking for Ross, looking for Paula, like maybe get a cod, maybe get flounders, uh, quite a few variety of small fry to be caught around here. And uh, bait, yes, we need bait. We have mackerel. Mackerel. Sandy old. Sandy old. Squid. Well, nearly. Got some black log that's been defrosted, frozen, frosted, defrosted. Ah. And blue. My favourite. Top of that, I've also got real log. I tell you. What? Enough. I've got a ragworm. Ah, yes, ragworm. So, we've got quite a variety of bait. Hopefully, something will catch something. So, there we go. Uh, we're basically just using two hook pattern Oster 1 0 hooks and a uh, 50 pound leader, 15 pound mainline, and it's starting to rain. Severn rods, SXs, they're mainly for the rocks and that, but I like them in here for the rough, rough weed and that, and the Abur CT rockets. So that's us. All we need to do now is get bait it up and hope it stay dry. Ah. Okay, don't worry about it here. It'll grow back. <laughs> Ken Dodd, you're welcome to turn. Right, that's us casting the water. Uh, used a variety of baits across the hook, so we'll see if it catches what. And uh, I'll give you a look round in a little while once I've had a coffee and that. Quite a few come from one of the coaches in the car park up there. So we'll go and have coffee and hopefully show you a fish in a little while. If not, we'll show you what the answer is. It looks like. <laughs> Right, I'll give you a wee look round. Uh, I'm going to go facing up for up the fourth there. It'll be a bit windy, so I'll not bother talking because you won't hear me. But uh, we'll see what see how it goes. This is where we're fishing, just off the pier here, uh, here right against the wall. East Lothian and that thing over there. So, uh, right up, you go to Leith and uh, Edinburgh, and then back to. I think you leveled up a bit. And answer that, of course. because they're in right here. It's a bit up here there. Because there are a lot of shops and what you can see from there. And they uh, Behind all of that, there's a chip shop, 
and Strether Chip Shop, which has just been voted the best fish and chip shop in Scotland, apparently. So there you go. If you can't catch a fish, you can buy good fish somewhere. <laughs> Not any live station. Car park up there. It's cheap as hell. Cheap and cheap as chips to park up there. You park all day for uh, for one pound twenty, which is a good bargain in anybody's book. That's basically some uh, basically answer to the Uh, pier here. Could we walk? So let's see if we can catch some fishes, which we haven't done up till now. Been kind of quiet. I've had a crab. what you're actually looking for. And Balan Ras is exactly what we're looking for. Nice one. Still doing the tours in the May Princess as well. as well. One, went, one of those went out earlier on. Just leaves everybody else standing up, the wee thing. <laughs> a wee bit, just see if it pulls back.
Here's a small. Oh. Uh oh. <coughs> Slippery. Get my hug at it. There we go. Here's a small ras. I got a big bite. It wasn't. It certainly wasn't that the bit. But I caught one. So. Aye. Still around. Right. There we go. <coughs> there we go. Another nice little, nice sized balloon. Ah, do well today. Small grass, quite a nicely coloured one as well. Don't know if you can see the colours in that, I can't, I can hardly see myself. Nice one. Here we go. Hey. Done that? No. Long, long spine sea scorpion. Ah, something different. Yeah. She never knew she had it, and that's why you never got info. <laughs> but she got it. Another ras. They're getting smaller. They're getting smaller every time we catch them. Busy time on the water. There you go, that's uh, apparently it's Ants Feather uh, Ladies Rowing team, I think. They've been rowing back and forward most of the afternoon. Just at the back of them. And here we are, still struggling to catch a decent sized fish. <laughs> something different and something has been caught before it's got be beads on it I don't I don't use beads there's beads on this three line it's been caught before it's a coal fish 
nice size as well. Oh. That's my hook out. And there's about half a dozen beads in there. And, and the hook. Right, well that's us, we're done for. It's uh, about eight hours or so we've been down here. Ninety, uh, eight, eight hours. Uh, I managed to catch five wrasse, a coal fish. A uh, cat caught one wrasse and a long... Less, uh, long spine sea scorpion. So, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we come down a bit low tide and it was about three quarter time before we actually started really catching fish. But even then it was swung up, it was kind of slow, but uh, oh well, it was good to get out again and catch a few fish. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you again next time we're out. Not sure where that'll be, but it will be out. It will be by the water. So until next time, tight lines. <laughs>